Good morning children. Today we shall learn more about symmetry. We already know about the mirror symmetry which is also called the reflection symmetry. If an object or a figure has reflection symmetry then we can divide it into two identical halves like this leaf, this flower and this picture of Taj Mahal monument. And the line which divides the shape into two identical halves is called the line of symmetry. So now let us see another kinds of symmetry. We see many beautiful designs everywhere like on cloth, in saris, in rangoli designs, in different art pieces like the painting etc. Most of the designs look very beautiful but also complicated. But if we look closely they are generally simple. Like few designs are made by repeating the same object or the pattern. Here we see a beautiful floral design in the sari. Here the whole design is made of flowers and all the flowers are of same size and shape. The same shape which is the flower has been moved repeatedly from one place to another to create a beautiful pattern. You know this is also one kind of symmetry when a pattern or a design is made by sliding or moving an original figure repeatedly we say that design has translation symmetry notice all these designs these are made by repeating the same figure the same figure is repeated on different places to create a pattern so this kind of symmetry is translation symmetry if you observe carefully the decorative tiles used at homes in the bathrooms etc also have translational symmetry correct as we saw in the story the girls were dancing in synchronization in a straight line and all were performing exactly like the first one hence their movements look like translation symmetry only look carefully even the background has translational symmetry. Now let us talk about another kind of symmetry. Remember the show on the teacher's day? If you have watched the show carefully, you would see symmetry in their performance. Like the boys and the girls were moving on a unicycle, holding the umbrella to create a design. In this design, the purple umbrella is here now. They were moving in a circle and the whole design was rotating. Look, sometime later, the second umbrella took place of the first purple umbrella. And we get the same figure back after rotating a little. If we rotate the whole design, after some times, we get the same design back before one full rotation. Such designs have rotational symmetry. A figure which can be rotated to get the same shape back in less than one full rotation has rotational symmetry. It means a figure repeats itself while rotating. Like when this design was rotating, the same figure repeated itself many times. Confused? Let's make it clearer. Remember the boy was rolling inside a ring on the stage? Look, while he is rotating, no two figures look similar during a single rotation. Is it an example of rotational symmetry? No, this is not an example of rotational symmetry. As in case of rotational symmetry, the same figure repeats itself within a rotation. Here, only after one full rotation, any two positions are same and not before that. While the girl was rotating the umbrella, look, the same figure repeats on the umbrella after rotating it, say, after a half rotation only. If any figure has rotational symmetry, we get the same figure back during the rotation before the completion of one rotation. That is, the same figure comes back many times within one rotation. Now, let us rotate this design by 30 degree and this is what we see. Do we see the exact design? No, 
Now let's rotate it by 45 degrees. Again, we don't see the exact design. If we rotate the design by 60 degrees, what do we see? We get the same design back. This minimum angle, which is 60 degree, by which this design is rotated to look exactly the same, is called the angle of rotation. So during a full rotation, we get the same design many times. How many times? During full rotation, we get the same design after every 60 degrees. As we know, the full rotation means 360 degrees. So, 360 divided by 60, we get 6. Thus, during a full rotation, we get the same design 6 times. You know, the number which tells us how many times a figure looks same within a full rotation is the order of rotational symmetry. So here we can say the order of rotational symmetry is equal to 6. Like that design on the floor also had the rotational symmetry. If we rotate it by 90 degrees, we get the same figure back. So the order of rotational symmetry that is how many times the figure looks exactly the same in one rotation is 360 by 90 which is equal to 4. So here the order of rotational symmetry is equal to 4. Other than the designs, where can we find the rotational symmetry? The letter I of English alphabets has rotational symmetry. It looks exactly the same once we rotate it by 180 degrees. Same way, the number 8 also looks the same after half spin. That is, after 180 degrees of rotation. So, it has rotational symmetry too. And the angle of rotation here is 180 degrees. So, what is the order of rotational symmetry? In both the cases, it is equal to 360 degrees divided by 180 degrees which is equal to 2. Thus, the order of rotational symmetry in the letter I and the number 8 is 2. What about a square? It has rotational symmetry too. While we rotate a square, the square looks exactly the same after 90 degrees of rotation. So, its order of rotational symmetry is equal to 360 degree by the angle of rotation which is 90 degree and it is equal to 4. What about this star? You know this star looks the same 5 times within one full rotation. So we can say the angle of rotation after which we get the same figure back is 360 degree by 5 which is equal to 72 degrees. So after every 72 degrees this star would look the same on rotation. Where can we find rotational symmetry? It is most common in the artwork around us. Be it beautiful paintings, artworks and the colorful rangoli or the flower arrangements too. So the symmetry is everywhere in design, letter, number, geometric figure, nature, everywhere. So remember children, what we learned today? First, what is translation symmetry? When a pattern or a design is created by sliding or translating an original geometrical figure or motif repeatedly, we say the design has translational symmetry. And what is rotational symmetry? A figure is said to have rotational symmetry if it looks exactly same when rotated by less than a full circle. What about the angle of rotation? The minimum angle through which the figure has to be rotated to get the original figure is called the angle of rotation. And here we see after every 60 degree rotation we get the original figure and hence here the angle of rotation is 60 degrees. What is the order of rotational symmetry? 
It is the number that tells us how many times a figure looks exactly the same while it is rotated by 360 degrees that is a full circle. For example, the order of rotation of this design is 6. So within a rotation, this pattern repeats itself 6 times. And how do we calculate the order of rotational symmetry? If the angle of rotation of an object is x degrees, then its order of rotational symmetry is equal to 360 degrees by x degrees. That was all about symmetry. Bye-bye children.